Well, there's plenty of movies you should check out this weekend, even if you don't want to leave your house. Alfred Richard joins us now with his top picks at theaters and streaming services. But first, you want to start off with talking about some changes at AMC theaters? That's right. Last week, I reported that AMC theaters across the country are planning to reopen around July 15th. Well, one of the things that they mentioned is that they wouldn't be requiring patrons to wear masks. Out of hundreds of thousands of requests of people saying that's not what they wanted, AMC has reversed themselves and are now saying to people, please wear masks if you plan to come back. Also, considering that the uh, coronavirus upticks have taken place in different parts of the country, it is a possibility that some of these openings could be delayed again. But again, wear the mask when you can outdoors. All right, and Fandango, it, they don't just sell tickets. They also have a streaming service, but they've launched a theater reopening guide. Tell us more about that. That's right. The Fandango Now, which we've been programming and using for streaming and getting films, they're now developing a film theater reopening guide. So you can find out what theaters are open in your area. You can go to Fandango.com and punch in your information, zip code and whatever, and you can find out when theaters are reopening. As you could see in some cases, like for example, on the North Shore at the Royal or the Regal, those theaters have not reopened, but some of the others like the AMCs are planning again for a July reopening. All right, and let's talk about some of these open. The Broad Theater, what about the features there? The Broad Theater, as I mentioned there, they are avoiding all the things with pandemic. They are taking care of making sure the place is sanitized and also flood free. Well, that's around the area. You have Miss Juneteenth being one of the features there, but one of the favorites at this point also is Ella Fitzgerald. We were talking about that when they're Ella Fitzgerald, just one of those things. A great documentary and a background on the history of one of the great singers of jazz and music in America, Ella Fitzgerald, with some interviews from people out of her past, really worth seeing. And the film starring Steve Carell and directed by Jon Stewart, formerly of The Daily Show. It's called Irresistible. Of all things, it is a political commentary and political comedy, which is, of course, what we need right about now. Uh, it stars that also great casting here, but it's one of those films that I would throw a flag on at times, but I don't have my flag. It's in the shop right now. But again, that's at the Broad Theater. Okay, let's talk about the Chalmette movies. Heading over to the Chalmette movies, uh, we have, again, a film that I really like, very strong meat, it is called Burden, and it stars Forrest Whitaker, Garrett Hedlund, and Tom Wilkinson. It's set in South Carolina when a Ku Klux Klan museum is opening in this small town. Forrest Whitaker, portraying a minister, has to shepherd people through the disaster and the dangers of this powder keg. It is rated R, but it is very timely. Also, wait a second. Did I just see? Is Usher in that movie? Yes, he is. Wow. Yes, he is in this film as well. But a good, great performances all around, especially from Usher and Forrest Whitaker, who of course has won Oscars in the sure, past. Sure, he's great. Also, Invisible, Irresistible as well, and two of my favorites that are there at the Shalmet movies. Babe, about the little pig that could, Aww. and Superman, the 1978 version, which you will believe a man can fly, starring Christopher Lee. Reed. All right, what about the Britannia, real quick? At the Britannia, very quickly, The Dark Knight is going to be one of the films, but let's first let's go to this one. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. We continue with the Harry Potter saga over there. It will be the Deathly Hallows, part one, and the second film there at the Britannia will be The Dark Knight. And since we have to do this very quickly, I have to get this in. Happy birthday to Ben Brown, the maitre d' at Commander's Palace. Ben is like a fine wine. He mellows with age, so we're going to lock him in the cellar. Good job. Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> Alfred, thank you very much. We appreciate it.